Hey guys, Hunter Tom here, and welcome back to the Hunter Tom Science Series. Well, actually, yeah, it's part of the Science Series. It's, uh, it's, it's well, I'll be talking about fireworks in this series. It's the Hunter Tom Fireworks Series. Uh, I haven't really come up with a good title yet. Sorry. But, uh, yeah, today we'll be checking out, um, how Roman candles work. And so I have opened a Roman candle before, just to see what it was like inside. And actually has a, quite, a, has an interesting design inside. So, as you can see, I have a Roman candle right here, and you can see the fuse is out. Um, so Roman candles are basically sticks. They're, well, they're a firework, actually. They shoot about, you know, 5 to 25 stars or balls, whichever way we want to call it. So, you, there's, it's basically a long tube with a uh, blockage at the end, with a fuse that runs down it with black powder stars and separators and stuff, but I'll show you that in the graph in a bit. So as you can see, there's a long fuse, and that fuse, uh, it usually isn't this long, but uh, I ac accidentally pulled it out when I was uh, pulling it out of the packaging. The fuse got stuck in the plastic, and while I was pulling it out, it came out. So this is an example. You can really see the fuse, how long it is, but it goes even deeper. So yeah, Roman candles got their name. I was looking online. I couldn't really find how they got their name, but it was something to do with religion somehow, and Roman Catholics. I'm not sure exactly, but... That's what I've, I've kind of figured out. So anyways, let's look at this. I don't know if you guys can see that, but... Yeah, you can see the graph right there. Um, so basically what, it, what, what happens is that the fuse burns down the tube, or down the tube, and while it burns down, it, uh, it lights off little black powder charges, which makes the star, or the thing that makes it look like color, come out of the barrel of the... A Roman candle. So if you can see here, um, you light the fuse and the first thing that happens it actually happens right under this paper right here. Uh, the fuse will slowly burn down to the black powder charge that's in here which will open the paper and if there's any like obstructions here uh, that will basically open up and uh, make sure so the balls can slide through freely because if the balls get stuck in it can explode in your hand or you know something it won't it won't go good. It won't shoot. So basically I have this paper in here just to keep everything together. But you basically have a charge in there to open up the bore. And then basically the fuse keeps on burning down. And then it hits a, uh, goes beside a stopper. I don't know if you guys see that here. See these little stoppers here? These are the stoppers that kind of like stop it so they don't burn each powder together. Here's the fuse and it uh, lights powder. Then it Here's the blocker so the star doesn't catch on fire. It doesn't go all off in one um, instant. So yeah, it goes down and then it lights. It, I think really what happens is that when the fuse goes down, it ignites the ball. Then it ignites the powder. So the powder shoots the ball out and that's what you see all those pretty colors and stuff. So, Strontium carbonate can be added to the star mix to give it a red or pink star. Uh, this is the stars for the colors. This is what I found on the Wikipedia article. Um, you can add other compounds and stuff um, to change the colors. And uh, so basically, like when it burns, it really sets off this kind of radiation of light, which you know you can see from uh, potassium perchlorate and stuff. You have to check the article on Wikipedia if you'd like to know more. But anyways, it just oxidizes and makes a color. You also add barium compounds, which emits green light. And anyways, you can check out the uh, Wikipedia article under like Roman candles. But uh, yeah, you, so basically the stars have different colors and stuff, and uh, it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, basically this is all I'll show it to you. I'll get you guys in focus. There you go. I drew a little graph. So basically, you light the fuse, the charge, the this opening charge I guess you could say the open charge opens the paper and removes any obstructions from the barrel so it can shoot out this is a cardboard tube by the way and basically the fuse keeps on burning downwards this is a these little white things are blockers continues sorry that's just the phone and then um, it hits the powder which sets it off and shuts the, the stars off and continues so then it all goes all the way down did you really have to call it this time? Anyways, uh, it basically the powder, this little black thing is the powder, and it sets off the stars and stuff, and it makes it go out the barrel. 
So you see, lights this one first, first sequence, second sequence, third sequence, fourth sequence, five, six, and yeah, fifth sequence, and uh, six sequence. So you see there are a number of sequences in the tube of the Roman candles, which is pretty cool. And so yeah, that's how Roman candles work. Um, if you guys like this video, please leave a like or something like that. And uh, comment which which is your favorite brand for um, fireworks because, yeah, I think that'll be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.